What game is this and how do you play it? Uh, this is for the birds and you're attempting to get four birds in a row in order to win on the same branch. And the way that's done, it's done with different dice. And when you roll a combination of dice, in each case you have a choice of two. It could be 73 or 37, for example. And there are other, uh, there are other uh, cards and, um, and rule sets that make it very interesting. Are all these whole family games or some more for adults? Um, all the ones you see on the table are um, a combination. So if you want, to, want me to show you individually, I'll tell you what they are. How about this one? Letter Tycoon is a family game. It's a brilliant cross-section of a game like Monopoly and a game like Scrabble. Oh. In that, when you spell a word, you get points for it, but then you can buy one of the letters in that word, and then you have the patent on that letter for the entire game. So when someone else plays your patented letter, if you play an A and I own it, the right. bank will pay me for it every time it I is I see played. how that works. What about the poop? Or is it just called poop? So it's called Poop the Game. Poop the Game. And it was the, invented by a father to teach his son math. And the way that works is you have a toilet card at the top, and you want to play cards but not exceed the toilet value. Oh. If you play three in a row, you can flush the toilet. Yet, if you play more than 11, in this case, you would clog the toilet, and you would have to pick up the whole row. I think that would work with kids. Yes. Uh, how about the game of 49? In my opinion, it is one of the most classic games to come along in 50 years. Uh, this game is so brilliantly designed. It was designed by a man named Mark Corsi. He worked on it for eight years. Wow. And the way you play that is you bid, you budget, you battle, and then you buy your way to four in a row. So each of these individual card spaces, like 33, any of the numbers on the board, they come up in a card. They come up for auction. And you bid on that number, and if you win that space, you put your token down. But then there are payoff cards, wild cards, that throughout the game will pay you $7 per token. Okay. It's a very difficult game to win. But you get a sense of accomplishment when you win. When you and if win. you lose, there's still a sense of camaraderie because you, you all play together at the end to try to keep someone from winning. This one seems fun, last but not least. This is called Game of Phones. And this card says, show the last picture of a person you took before the game started in cards like that. Show, show the first photo in your camera roll. And people will, you know, obviously maybe have some embarrassing moments. What's that game like? Well, you're at a party. Say you have your phone and you really want to um, enjoy yourself with your friends but you've never really been into card games. This is a great entry because you've got your phone and the way it works is there's a judge every round and you execute whatever it is on the card and the judge chooses whoever has the best picture, the best emojis, the most amount of messages or the dumbest voicemail, things like that. Sherry, thank you. You make me feel like going out and playing a game. Thank you very much for joining us here on thank Mornings you. on 2 the 9.